Hey, what's up? I hope you can see me okay. I'm up late. It's windy. I like listening to the sounds of nature. Whether it's wind or rain. Pretty much wind or rain. <laughs> um, I don't... Hold on, I feel like I got a piece of cat fur on my face. Because my little... My little Emmy dude is right here. Can you see him? Yeah. Well, he's right there. I don't know if I aimed right. I usually don't for some reason. Um, anyway, yeah, I like the the wind and the rain sounds. It's just soothing, you know? It's really, it's really calming and peaceful. And here in California, we don't get much of the rain or wind. But we've been getting a pretty good amount of rain. And lately, like, you know, I used to really, really love the rain and everything, and I still do, but then I have the thoughts of the people that have to be out there, so that sucks also. So I try not to, um, what do I say, like, I don't wish for it like I used to, <laughs> you know, but at the same time, I do, oh, sorry, Emmy, I do, um, I do love the sounds of nature, I mean shouldn't feel guilt for that, right? That's crazy. Um, it's a little cuckoo. But, you know, I don't know what it is lately. Hold on one second. Are you, are you trying to touch me? Are you trying to grab me right now? Is that what you're trying to do? Oh, hi. Okay, sorry. I wasn't all, I wasn't just trying to show you the cat, but I had an itch by my nose. But anyway, um, something has come over me lately. You know, I've been extremely, really, like, extremely, really depressed and crazy sad for a long time. But something come has come over me. Something clicked in my mind and in my heart and it has to be something sorry Amy you're good you don't have to move you're good it has to be something divine I feel I know that might sound I don't know how it might sound but I feel like that's what it is because I don't know it was like a week or two ago I can't tell you when why or where there's just like a couple of things overall I know it's something special that happened because nothing's fixed nothing in my life is really different There was someone from the UK, and this isn't fully what, what did it, but there's something, something they said. So, he said, have you ever watched The Matrix? <laughs> yeah, a few times. And... There are two pills. And he's like, picture one pill is self-loathing, sadness, horrible feelings, depression, just nasty, everything dark, bad, you know. And the other pill is happiness and what you want to feel like within yourself, you know love, peace, what do you want to give to the world, you know, what do you want to give or, or put out, so which one would you choose, if you could choose, obviously you'd choose the one that makes you feel good, he also said something else that really made sense, Um, he said to me, because 
he's like um I mean it's it's not just to me he does these lives and talks to many people but he said to me because I shared some of my story right um about my son and about how he had dealt or is dealing with depression but is he said to me you know we tell our children do as I say not as I do but in all reality a lot of the time not even out of choice they're going to model what we do this may not always be true this is not for everyone, okay? I'm just I'm just saying this is what um this is one thing that made me really think. Not that I wasn't thinking on my own, but hear me out. We tell our children say as we do I mean, do as we say, not as we do, right? It's true. You, you know, you would hope, I would hope you'd want them to be better than what you are, you know, and I do. I want my kids to be better, and they already are way better than me. And so the truth of the matter is, back to the point here, um, without even trying, whether it's traits within them, but most of all, it's what they see you do. It's, it's how they see you feel. And let me use myself, how they see me treating, not even treating, how can I say that? They see how I am toward myself, and I am rough on myself. I beat myself up more than anyone ever could. For <laughs> what? Life's short, you know? And not only, not only to think of it in that way, but what is feeling sorry or worried or down all the time going to do nothing it's going to bring I'm going to bring myself down even more and in turn my family or whoever's around me is going to feel that whether I want to whether I'm trying to or not to make that happen now sure there are circumstances in life that make you feel a certain way and you can't help it because there are things that are just out of your control. But what is in your control is you. What is, what is in control is you of yourself. And I can't tell you, it's not the only thing. That's not, that's not like someone said something and bam, I'm better. No, no, it's so, so much deeper than that. I can't really explain it because I don't know where it came from. I truly believe it's God. I truly do, do believe it's divine. But I went from feeling like shit, like shit, like just shit about me. Complete shit. The way I feel, the way I look, the way everything. You know, what, what didn't I do right for my kids, for my family, for me, for, for those I care about? Why didn't I do right? I keep thinking, I keep thinking. But... I'm not going to say it's not good to self-reflect because you got to do that in order to learn. And if you go through, go through things, excuse me, you got to grow through it too, you know, and we all have part in the things that we do. And I own that totally. But what I won't do, because I could be dead tomorrow, is continue to beat myself up for things that were out of my control even and when I mean by that I mean everything man like since I was a kid I would do that and try to make others feel better for things I didn't how do I say 
sorry I cut off my video so I'm gonna try to hopefully this is pasted with my first video but anyway my point is I feel completely different I'm thinking differently another thing and I'm not saying this is um, going to fix anything but if you're feeling down don't listen to sad music do the opposite if you're feeling low why listen to music that makes you feel even more low just because you can relate to it you gotta listen to the opposite you gotta listen to something more upbeat and happy you know if you're feeling alone and you're you're like by yourself then by all means if especially if you're able to if you don't have a disability or anything even if you do try to find a way out go outside you know I mean I'm thanking God for so much right now and it's so different than what I was feeling even a week ago and it has nothing to do with anything in particular like I said, I don't know what it is. I don't know why. I don't I don't want to question it, but I feel I feel different. I feel I just feel different. I feel love. I feel different and I don't feel um oh my god, I don't know how to explain this. You know, it's like two 20 something in the morning right now so I'm sorry for my lack of words but the wind is extremely pretty and I'm just reflecting on things and there's a lot of beauty that we take for granted you know there's a lot of beautiful things we take for granted and they're not all visual. They're not. In fact, the most beautiful thing can't be seen. And that's love. The most beautiful thing doesn't need to be seen. You know, I'm not trying to be all philosophical and sound any certain way. I, like, honestly, my soul feels so different and I'm thanking God for it because mm, again nothing's fixed my life's the same it's not like it's not like I uh, all of a sudden you know won the lottery or I don't know like I dude I have like probably one good pair of shoes you know I live in this little apartment but there's a roof over my head and yes I know I should you know I yeah there's a there's a neighbor downstairs that is crazy but hey you know I'm, I'm still here <laughs> so is he but um I don't know it's God it, it truly is because I can't tell you I don't want to press that button again um I didn't want to cut the video off, but, sorry, I have an itch under my, okay, um, how do I say this? Worrying every day, stressing every day, sometimes it feels like inevitable and you've got to, but you don't. Look, I am seriously, um, when you, I mean, when, how do I say this? Like, I'm at the bottom of the barrel. Like, I don't have, you know, but I do. But I do have, you know, I, I may not have money, right? But I have something else and something that's way worth more than money right now not
not saying money doesn't help and it's not a mean to an end and so on. And we can go into all the freaking semantics or whatever you want to call whatever it is. I don't know if I even use that right. But when you have a peace, a peace in your heart, everything's okay, you know? I mean... I look at time and time is precious like each day is precious. I was thinking about my best friend that I lost to cancer a few years ago. And my God, she was a beautiful soul and, and I didn't know that I only had so much time with her. And she was real. She was extremely down to earth and extremely loyal and honest. Her name was Diana. Her name is Diana. A wonder woman's name. And even though she may not know it, she was so strong. Through it all, she was so strong. And there's that train. But what I'm saying is you just got to see the beauty that you have around you even when it seems dark and hopeless. I don't even want those words in my vocabulary anymore. I just want peace. And, and I don't know, I, I, feel, I feel good. Yes, I have my moments. Like, you know, I was listening to some music and that's what was keeping me up. I really like the song by Georgia Floyd, a line called um, uh, Talk You Out of It. It's a really cool song. Um... Yeah, man, I like I like R and B and country. I like I like a lot of things. Um, I don't know. I can't really get with heavy metal. Anyways, um, where was I? <laughs> I don't want certain words in my vocabulary. You know what I mean? Like I was saying earlier about the music. If you're feeling low, don't listen to songs that also feel low. Do you know what I mean? I wish I could look directly at the camera so you guys can more so believe me. But I can't, so. Anyway. When people tell me or used to tell me that it's a choice in how I feel, I used to think, what the hell are you talking about? Like, how dare you? Like, that's bullshit. I wouldn't choose to feel this way. But you can choose. You can. You can choose. Like, hey, if there are things in your life that you know are good or are bad or whatever, you are aware. You're aware of those things, you know? If you know certain, I keep going back to music, makes you feel a certain way, then don't put that on. Like, if you're angry, why are you going to put some rap on that's going to make you feel even more angry because you're relating to it yeah I get that but it doesn't help you know and if it does help you if it takes you to a happier place then by all means go for it you know <laughs> you know you know bang out to that but if it doesn't and it makes your mood intense more intense and and it makes you even more upset then don't don't listen to that you got to do something opposite you know, all I know is none of us have the answers. None of us are perfect and nothing will ever be perfect. What is perfect? Even finding a perfect quote unquote person. I wish I could do the, the signs, but you know what I'm talking about. The little, you know, the quotes. Perfect is what you make of it. You know, what's perfect to you, you know perfect could be you chilling on the couch watching some TV with a beer or uh, a soda or whatever perfect to you could be I don't know sleeping sometimes but not all the time don't sleep all the time either because you don't want to feel that's not good I would try to do that that's not good you know try to do things that 
bring you even a little joy here and there, whether it's a story you read, a movie you watch. Do things that make you feel good and give you strength and don't let anyone talk you down from it. Like, who cares what they think of a movie or whatever, you know? I mean, most adults don't need to be told this, but I'm just reassuring you that the things that make you feel even some joy, go for it, do that, you know, as long as it's not hurting yourself or anyone. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not encouraging any heavy drug use or or anything that's going to hurt anyone, you know. I'm encouraging positivity and it's okay to smile because you know why? For a long time, and this is sad, okay, and this is me admitting this right here, I felt guilty for smiling like it was wrong. What? Right? That's stupid. I did that to myself, though. Like, I'm an empath, and I can absorb so much. But I also have learned, or I'm learning quickly how to block certain things because it's totally unhealthy. It's one thing to sympathize with people, but it's another to completely absorb like a sponge sponges are never mind I'm not going to even go there with my little analogies because that's stupid but anyway look I wish you all love and joy and um, I have a project coming up I'm putting together Um, there's a few people that are involved that's going to be discussing um well, partly discrimination in the workplace for visually impaired people and um, just us talking on some things. I don't know how exactly how I'm going to do it because I'm thinking I'm going to talk on my laptop and I don't know. You guys will see. You guys will see. But um, I'm excited because I did have a good response from it when I when I put it out there and I feel blessed for that. And um I don't know. I don't know. It's it's definitely something divine though. It's it's God. It's it's something beautiful that I feel. And I know this world is crazy. My goodness, it's getting crazier, isn't it? A leadership here, then I talk to my friends in the UK, their leadership there. It's just all crazy, the whole Brexit thing happening in March. Donald Trump here, you know, all kinds of stuff. I don't know. I'm not putting my personal opinion out there because it is what it is, you know. We don't have control over that. And um, you can only do your best and do your part. Even if it's in a small speck. Because we're all a part of this world and each of us are a thread. And when a thread comes out, I don't know, things, you, you, you get what I'm saying. It's late. And no, I haven't had any drink or anything. But um, thanks for listening if you've listened this long. And I'm definitely going to have to piece that video, the first one with this one. And yeah, that's fine. I, I will do that. And if anyone out there knows of any accessible software for editing, let me know, please. Accessible software like for the blind like where it's easy to or at least manageable to like edit you know copy and not copy wait what the fuck um paste videos together (laughs) um like you know if you want certain videos together like I want the last one and this one together that kind of thing so if you if there are any tech savvy people out there who know about um, uh, assistive technology or things that could help in that area when it comes to video editing please please let me know I've gotten a few tips from from a couple of friends from the UK so I'm going to try that out but if anyone knows of anything because those are like a couple different softwares that I'll probably have to use but um And if not, someone needs to work on that. Apple, Microsoft, 
somebody. Like, come on now. Like, we need something accessible. Everybody makes videos now. Like, everybody. Everybody makes videos now. Alrighty. I'm going to try to take my booty to bed. To bed. And working on my project tomorrow, so... It's going to come together. It's not going to be anything huge or extravagant. It's just a little project. And I just want people's voices heard. And I think it would be interesting. So, yeah, tune in for that. And I will talk to you guys soon. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. And my videos and everything like that. Be confident in your skin because it's only when you got you com confident with your eyes and your and your er everything that's yours is yours and you're truly an individual and trust me there is beauty in all of us like I said before if you have not hurt children there's beauty in you and Because that's just my opinion. If you've hurt kids, then I don't know about you. But that's for you to figure out in your own, your own whatever. I'm not going to go into that. All I'm saying is that um, love the skin you're in. And I don't just mean your actual skin, but I do mean that as well. Um, just everything about you. I, I hate my feet. And... I used to be really self-conscious about my eyes moving around so much, and sometimes I still am. But that's out of my control. You know, it's totally out of my control. And I'm harder on myself than others are, you know. I'm more comfortable now without makeup than I was even a week ago. <laughs> but, um... No, I can't look at the camera. No, you know, that's it's just who I am, you know? I can't help it. So, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Just do your part in what you can do to make whatever it is in your heart and in your life better. None of us are perfect, man. We're just all in this together. We don't know where it's going to go. None of us are getting out of here alive. And I want some whiskey because it's 5 o'clock somewhere. I just wanted to say that. I'm, I'm not really. I'm going to bed after this. Right, Emmy? Like you right there. Can you see him? Emmy. Emmy. I don't know if you can see him. I'm going to leave him alone because he's getting mad. He's flopping his tail around. All right, peace out. I'm really going to go now. All right, bye-bye.